Join us in Bournemouth to take a look at some of the crew's ghost ships floating off the coast of southern England. We're going to get up close and personal to some of the biggest cruise ships in the world, just waiting to start cruising again. And we had a few surprises. Ahoy cruisers, welcome to Muddleford. And I've been thinking, where the heck's that? Because we thought the same thing as well. Well, we're here on the south coast, not too far from Bournemouth, and we're going to be taking a ferry to go and see the ghost ships. These are all the cruise ships that are docked just off the coast of Bournemouth. There's quite a few of them. I'm going to get really close to them, so I'm so excited. Let's go. So excited. First time we're going to see a ship in over six months. Can't wait. We say a goodbye to land and make our way about three miles out to sea to go see the cruise ships. Guys, we're on the Muddleford Ferry, which is the ferry that is going to take us to see these, the ghost ships that are here in Bournemouth. I'm so excited, but then at the same time, really sad because it's awful to see all these ships just out here and we can't cruise on them and we can't get on them. And I can see Jewel of the Seas. And yeah, I was on the uh, Jewel of the Seas back in March, if you remember, in Dubai. And it was really sad. We'd left Dubai to go to Abu Dhabi and we were turned around uh, in the middle of the night back to Dubai because two people on board had suspected coronavirus or one person did. We were quarantined for 24 hours and obviously the test came back negative and then we went back home, so it was really sad and it's a little bit bittersweet. I mean, it's amazing to see her because this is just, you don't get to do this ever. We've never, we've never did this, guys. It's just awesome. And it was only 20 pounds as well each. So for 40 pounds or about $60 for both of us, it's so worth it. I'd recommend you to do it, but hopefully it doesn't happen any longer and these cruise ships are going to be back sailing again with passengers on board. Oh my God, we've just seen a whole pod of dolphins. How crazy is that? Actually crazy. There's loads of them. They're literally all around the front of the ship. It's, it's so good. Everybody's forgot about the cruise ships. It's all about the dolphins now, isn't it? We have Jewel of the Seas. We are literally 50 meters away from her. This is literally crazy. I can see our cabin where we were in March, just there. We are so lucky with the weather as well. The weather in the UK has been awful at the moment. So we've got Jewel and Alua right next to each other. Crazy. Wow. These ships are usually full of music, entertainment and fun. So it was sobering to see them with just under 100 crew members on board. So one thing we have noticed when we got really up close to them is that they are starting to look a bit sort of like rusty around the outsides and you know obviously the cleaning schedule on the outside's not been kept up so that's kind of sad to see really but we did see the crew on board you can see they were working there was a few crew members actually uh, blasting down the opposite side of the ship so they were working on the ship which is nice to see and we gave them a little wave and they gave us a little wave back apparently when they did a tour uh, last week a crew member or somebody on board the ship was apparently enjoying the sun with no clothes and in their cabin and then we, a little boat like this turned up and started taking photos, which was a bit of a shock for them, wasn't it? Could you imagine that? Allure of the Seas is a Royal Caribbean Oasis-class ship, the biggest cruise ship class in the whole world. She's just a few inches smaller than her sister and the biggest cruise ship in the world, Symphony of the Seas. I'm not sure if this is giving the scale of how big this ship is, but she is absolutely massive. At full capacity, she can hold a whopping 5,500 passengers. She even has several neighbourhood areas on board. At the back here, you can see through to the aqua theatre, as well as the amazing climbing wall, as well as the boardwalk and central park area with a full park. How crazy is that? It's getting a bit warm now. I'm actually really enjoying this. It's lovely to be back out on the water again. I've missed it so, so much. 
and to get up close to the ships. I mean, up close to the law, it's gigantic. She's so wide, it's incredible to be up close to her. She's a massive feat of engineering, it's really cool. I know we've done the shipyards before, but to actually see them when they're in the water and stuff, I do keep thinking though that we're on a tender boat and I feel like, oh, we're just gonna go back to the ship. It's been, just been on port all day, but no, 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 no. no, no, no. It's back to land for us. We've got one more ship to see. We're going to go have a look at the P&O ship that's in uh, that is docked, and uh, apparently it's going to be a little something special for us when we get there as well. So let's see. We were soon approaching the P&O cruises Aurora. Oh look, he's giving us a wave, he's giving us a wave! Wave! Okay folks, just about to sound the whistle. looking a little bit worse for wear to be honest you could do with a good paint but there's some really interesting stories because the skipper of the ship was actually staff captain of this ship a few years ago which is crazy and they beat the horn for us which was really awesome and we've got some flags as well which were waving towards the ship i don't know if you could see but the captain on board the bridge was actually waving a giant foam hand as well which is so cool before heading back we had an impromptu performance from an actual cruise ship performer it was awesome Sailing stormy oh. waters to be near you, to be free. That's it, our boat tour is over. It flew past so, so quickly. We're heading back to the port now. What an amazing experience to be able to get up so close to the ships and do an actual 360 around them, which is unique. You never ever get to do that, even when you're on a tender boat. Loved it, absolutely loved it. If you do get the opportunity to do this, I really highly recommend it. But fingers crossed, like Ben said earlier, that these ships are not gonna be here much longer because we wanna get back sailing. Wow, what an absolutely fantastic trip that was over far too quickly. Oh no, so that's it for our ghost ship tour. It was just over three hours as well, but seriously, it felt like 10 minutes. We got so close to them ships as well. If you're in the area and they're still happening, we really highly recommend it. Such a fantastic day with beautiful weather. It was expected to be overcast and really miserable, but it came out really sunny. And we got to see dolphins as well. How insane is that? Dolphins in October in the UK. So thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and give us a like as well, as well as leaving a comment in the bottom. Which ship did you like most? Which one would you prefer to be on as well? And thank you so much to all of our patrons as well. We give you loads of extra stuff like behind the scenes videos, live shows and podcasts. So thank you so much. Our patron of the week is Amy. So hi there, Amy. That's it till next time. Happy cruising or boating.